So hello everybody, I'm John Ainsley from Doulos. So today, I'm gonna spill the beans on PSS. This is the presentation that I wish I'd heard a couple of years ago. This is what I always wanted to know about PSS and nobody would tell me. Now, whether this is any use to you, I don't know. And whether I'm gonna make any friends amongst the vendors, I don't know. But I don't represent, I'm not an EDA vendor. My company doesn't sell tools. So this is my take on PSS from a guy who is not interested in selling you tools. So portable stimulus versus UVM, what's the difference? I'll say a little bit about what PSS is, or at least what I would like to have been told about PSS a few years back. Talk about what it's like to use PSS with UVM, to use them side by side. Compare and contrast PSS and UVM a little bit. And then say, finally, giving you a little bit more detail about PSS specifically. So what is PSS? Well, it's the next step beyond constrained random. In a nutshell, I think of PSS as being constrained random on steroids. P PSS is constrained random, but it's a little bit better. It's an accelerator standard as of today. It's an Let's have a cheer for PSS. Tomorrow, as of tomorrow, it's gonna to be a standard. All right, hold your applause. Oh, somebody told me it was a standard already. They were lying. As of tomorrow, it's going to be an XLRA standard, but very, very close. Ah, come back. PSS is a new language. Oh, we've got to learn a new language. It's not System Verilog. It's not C++. It actually comes in, in two different flavors, DSL, or domain-specific language, or C++. And this was kind of a hang-up. It was a hang-up for me initially, because I thought, why have we got two versions of PSS? Well, there aren't really two versions of it. It's just two different formats, two different ways of expressing exactly the same thing. So there is one PSS, really. You can just write it in two different ways. DSL, domain-specific language, does have some new syntax. So if you're going through to one of the tool vendors who provide this new form of syntax, it looks like this. Other tool vendors will allow you to write exactly the same thing in C++, but you're not really writing C++. You're just using a C++ parser as the front end. But whether you write this in a new format or you write it in PSS, in C++, it's exactly the same semantics that you're expressing. So don't think about it, don't worry about it, it's not an issue. PSS is PSS.